So, you've gone and got yourself a brand new Canon PIXMA Home Office MX496. Good choice. Let's get it up and running. Take care to cut through the packaging tape with a suitable knife or a pair of scissors. Open the box like so. Lift out these important bits and pieces. Keep them to one side for now as we'll need them later. And then slide out the printer. As you can see, we've done a really good job of getting the printer to you in tip-top condition. Remove the polystyrene packaging wraps, then take the printer out of the bag. All the orange bits of tape and plastic can then be removed and recycled or discarded. Before you do that, make sure you're not throwing away anything that you'll need, such as the ink cartridges, cables, installation discs and these bits of paper. Locate the power socket and plug in the cable like this. Make sure the wall outlet switch is off before plugging the other end into the wall. If you're going to be connecting the printer with a USB cable, don't plug it in just yet. You'll be prompted to do this when you install the software. Now go ahead and switch on the power. Now it's time to put the ink tanks into the printer. Open the cover like so. In no particular order, you can remove the ink tanks from their wrappers and place them into their corresponding slots. Make sure you remove the tank outlet seal first. Each ink tank will fit into place with a discernible click. When you're all done, close up the printer. You'll then hear the printer making a few noises while it gets the printer ready for action. Now it's time to put some paper in the printer. Open up the paper tray at the front of the printer and place in a few sheets of paper, making sure that the paper guides are set to the right position. Securely push the tray back into the printer. So, we're all done and ready to move on. You can now go ahead and configure your Android and Apple smartphones and tablets, as well as your Windows and Apple computers.